just say something else. <laughs> you guys are like my age. And you guys should appreciate that they're older. So just slow it down a little. <laughs> and, and don't be so loud. And, and they'll, they'll, they'll be able to follow along. <laughs> 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 under the impression that we were going to be playing a show tonight. <laughs> I thought we were just going to be hanging out, so I thought I'd drink some coffee and we'd share some stories, but um, I guess we'll do a rest then. Thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah, thanks for being here.
straight into Bill Monroe's Toy Heart. And we're gonna keep it in the Bill Monroe vein. When I was a kid, I, uh, my dad made me a mixtape of Bill Monroe for, uh, to listen to, you know, all day. And uh, <laughs> it wasn't really so, so mixed of a tape as it was just bluegrass breakdown over and over again on both sides of one cassette tape. <laughs> so uh, somehow I burned out on that tune, but uh, we're gonna do a completely different one though, about the opposite in the Bill Monroe repertoire. Kentucky Waltz. Thank you, uh, thanks all of you for, uh, for being here. It always feels like such a warm welcome coming back here. And um, my folks actually live pretty close to here, just about an hour away in Hamden, Mass. So they always come out and it feels like a very special thing. So thanks again for having us and, and being here. Kentucky Waltz.
uh, it's a little bit like, uh, you know, the, 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 the high wire without a net when you're doing that stuff on uh, only a mandolin and fiddle. <laughs> uh, but super fun. Huh? This, uh, that was a tune by the great David Grisman called EMD. And I have to say, I, um, you know, not to, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I did get to play with David Grisman for about four years and uh, in his quintet. And I have to say that we, we played that tune a lot, actually, but uh, I never have more fun than playing with Jake. <laughs> so it's Jake Jolliffe on the man. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. And uh, one of my best friends in the world, and beyond a doubt, one of the best fiddle players there is living today. Please uh, give a hand for Mike Barnett. Jake and, I, uh, Jake and I live together in, uh, in Brooklyn. We're uh, roommates there, and uh, Brooklyn, New York. And, uh, we have, <laughs> and uh, I guess there are a lot of Brooklyns, huh? But, uh, yeah. And uh, we haven't, uh, we actually have missed each other for about four months, because um, Jake's been traveling a lot with a really great band called Yonder Mountain String Band. And uh, I've been, been traveling a lot as well, so uh, this is, this is the first time we've actually really gotten to play music in a while, so this is a treat. And uh, we're gonna do uh, another Trad Bluegrass tune for you here. One called Dark Hollow. Give the fingers a bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs>
This, uh, we're going to do an, another tune now here that Mike wrote. He's uh, not only an amazing fiddle player, but also an amazing composer. And this, uh, this tune has a heck of a story that goes along with it, so I'm going to let him tell you that. Guys. I'm momentarily distracted because there's a, I don't know if you guys can see it in the light here, but there's a little spider web. It's actually right in the top of it. And uh, it's showing on the mic. Now. It's actually kind of like a nice, nice vibe for bluegrass. It kind of it keeps you on your toes here. But um, anyway, uh, so basically, uh, I played in a, in a band for a long time called The Deadly Gentlemen. And uh, we, uh, we played at, at uh, Gray Fox. It was probably like four years ago now, and um, uh, we had a set at around two or three in the afternoon, and I had to get there from New York because I was traveling separately, I was coming from somewhere else, and um, so I, I show up to Penn Station like I always do for trains, I never, I'm just not good at buying tickets ahead of time. And so I get there, and the maybe two or three trains that would get me there on time were completely sold out. Just completely sold out. And it's Gray Fox. You know, you can't miss it. I just can't miss it. And so I'm kind of freaking out, and I go, you know, to all the people at Amtrak, and I'm thinking, like, I have to get on this train. Like, please just help me get on this train. They're like, nope. Nope, you're not getting on the train. <laughs> You know how they can be. And uh, so anyway, I didn't really have much of a choice. And uh, I had to um, sneak past the uh, clerk checking the tickets. And, uh, I barely snuck by, and he didn't see me. And then I got on the train, I had all this stuff, you know. And uh, I sat down for a second, but then I saw the conductor coming down checking the tickets. So I had to, I took all my stuff and I couldn't think of anything else and I just snuck into the bathroom on the train and I just hid there. I hid there for two hours. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because I, the, on the Amtrak trains there's a little light that comes on that shows when someone's in the bathroom. And um, I, I, knew, I knew that because I've ridden Amtrak a lot. And so I was aware and I was like, it's probably a little weird. That I'm in here. So I kept poking my head out, and then I, I decided that maybe it'd be best if I snuck down to the next car's bathroom, just to like, you know, make sure that... So I was, I was hopping bathrooms on the train, and uh, so this tune, I, I left bathroom out of the title, and it's called Hopped the Train to Hudson. Uh, yeah, I didn't know how to fit bathroom in there. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three,
to do uh, just a couple more tunes here to take a quick break. That was the Bluegrass Standard Sunny. <laughs> yeah, I felt like saying I, I, I didn't write this one. <laughs> probably noticed that halfway through. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to do a tune by the great Jimmy Martin. It's one called Freeborn Man. I was born in the sad land.
gonna play uh, it's a jazz. Uh, Mike and I uh, both went to Berkeley College of Music, uh, and therefore we're supposed to know how to play jazz. <laughs> and we we love to uh, we love to play the tunes. We, uh, and it's fun to get a chance to do it. We don't do it too much in our in our gigs usually, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna end this set with uh, one of our favorite tunes here called Just Friends. I don't think I have to remind you that there's supposed to be delicious watermelon outside. And, uh, they should really it. advertise that. <laughs> we, we thought in the car it'd be kind of nice if they added a turn up Tuesdays. <laughs> but uh, thanks again, Paul, for having us and uh, cooking us delicious dinner. And uh, we will be back here in like 10 minutes. I guess.
slow things down here to start off. Do another tune by the great David the Dog, David Grisman. And uh, this one's one that he wrote and played with Jerry Garcia. One called Dog's Waltz.
break down into some smaller groups for a second. <laughs> Do a couple uh, solo pieces. <laughs> Feel free to jump in if you're feeling.
It's definitely a hard one to follow. This watermelon vine, right? Heard through the watermelon. <laughs> Uh, for any, I've, I've played this one before that I'm about to play, um, but I've never played on this fiddle. And uh, for any fellow fiddle nerds, I uh, bought this from one of my favorite fiddle players, Stuart Duncan, oh, yeah. an amazing uh, fiddle player, and uh, and just all around musician. And um, but anyway, this will be a first on this fiddle. So here we go. This is uh, I heard Johnny Gimble do this one, and. Um, Joe Venuti may have been the first one, and um, Aubrey Haney, um, but I don't see a lot of people doing it these days. Um, so it's a it's an old church hymn called "What a Friend We Have in Jesus," and uh, it's a, it involves a little truck where you take the uh, take the bow part. <laughs> don't try this at home. <laughs> Perfectly okay for the bow, Ooh. but um, it's kind of cool because then you can get uh, more than just two strings at once. So wow. kind of sounds a little like an organ. Yeah. Um, so here we go. What a friend we have in Jesus. set and we're going to get back to just hard drive and bluegrass tunes. <laughs> brothers are on it and uh, it's just it was a lot of fun recording so 
Um, just throwing that out there. <laughs> but, uh, we're going to do one off of that uh, that I recorded with the Deadly Gentleman. This one's called New Barns. crazy cowboy shirt and bolo tie, you might want to <laughs> research this next tune on YouTube. Uh, he was quite the persona. Uh, but it's one of my favorite tunes. It's called Carolina in the Pines.
Thanks, everybody. Well, we're going to get back to picking Bill Monroe tunes. Uh, only this one is a Bill Monroe tune after Mike Barnett got done with it. <laughs> so it's barely recognizable. This is, a, this is definitely a Berkeley phase. <laughs> we both went to Berkeley College of Music. And uh, I was taking a lot of jazz-oriented classes and uh, playing a lot of bluegrass tunes. So this is sort of a hybrid of those things. <laughs> It's one you might recognize, but not for the first couple minutes. <laughs> we'll, we'll get around to playing the original melody eventually. But we'll keep you guessing for the first <laughs> for few the times minute. through. Or maybe, maybe it's totally recognizable. Yeah, yeah. We won't okay. tell you the name. <laughs>
This next tune is one that I wrote uh, dedicated to Mike. It has to do with a time I witnessed, and Annalisa actually was here, was there too, witnessed him cooking in the kitchen, and he was cooking a sausage, and a, after about the fifth time, the smoke alarm went off. He, he, he was, to quote exactly, and I didn't have to change his thing for the title of the tune, was, it's like, man, I just don't know what to do. Like, you eat in, you go deaf, eat out, you go broke. <laughs> Referencing the, uh... <laughs> so yeah, we true. Yeah, our kitchen, our kitchen doesn't really get cooked in very often at home. We, yeah, it also doesn't help though, because like, you know, these small New York apartments, they're tiny, and also the smoke alarm's basically above the stove. <laughs> so, so like, I'm just saying, it might fence, you know? Yeah, well, and there's no, there's no fan above the stove, and... If ever there were three chefs that needed a fan above the stove, it's you, me, and Alex. <laughs> yeah, chefs. So, so this is one I wrote called Eat In, Go Deaf, Eat Out, Go Bro. <laughs> I, I have to say I'm quite honored just because Jake also plays this song with Yonder Mountain String Band and tells the story. <laughs> well, I don't often have time to tell the story. When I don't have time to tell the story, the title doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. <laughs> But here it goes. Here it goes, everybody. Eat in, go deaf, eat out, go broke. Okay, right. Also, uh, uh, I just learned this one today. Yeah. <laughs> we might go pretty broke on this. <laughs> yeah, we might go broke.
Well, thanks so much, everybody. I'd like to uh, say thanks to everyone for coming out, uh, as well as uh, uh, Claudia and Paul for having us. Yeah. Give them a hand. One more time, it is really, it's, just, it's a special treat to be here. I've seen some of my favorite shows here, actually. I came and saw Tim O'Brien, and it's just really a treat to uh, get to come to a place where it's a great listening audience, and you can really hear everything in such a beautiful room. And so, uh, yeah, just thank you so much for having us, and um, we're going to just do one more for you. So thanks for listening to all this frantic music. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure who wrote it. It might be James King. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, this is actually, uh, I'm not sure who wrote it, but I learned it from the singing of James King. It's one called Leave It. Thanks again.
surprised that wasn't enough uh, fiddle mandolin for it. <laughs> we're, we're glad it wasn't. <laughs> we, uh, we got, we'll, uh, we'll play one more for you. Thanks again for sticking around. It's an old standby traditional fiddle tune. Um, one of my faves, one of our faves. It's called Back Up and Push. Thank <laughs> you. 